I didn't either. You guys finally decided to stop, huh? I, mean, I didn't even see you. Okay. All right. <coughs> Tommy and Moody were no longer with the pack. But normally we'd pull over and make a couple calls and find out where the heck everybody's at and regroup everybody. I gotta get gas before I fucking... Yeah, well, I thought that's what we're doing. I've been on reserve for like 10 miles. <laughs> it was time to, to uh, stop and get gas and, and make the call from there. Hey, Ingram, come on back here a minute. Don't mess with the bike, all right? So I got, now I'm going to California, says so you're 62195. Oh, that's cool, just, I just didn't want you grabbing stuff off the bike. Come on down here. Yeah, you. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. Okay. Get out, let's go. Humboldt Justice Court, that's the jurisdiction we're in. Let me get a signature down by a little X there from you. How much is that ticket? If you just pay it by mail and don't show up, 150 bucks. Oh, whoa. All right. There's that back. You don't have any ammo anyway, but throw it back in the holster. There you go. Just leave it and such, and we'll be on our way. Adios. Yeah, we get pulled over a lot. You're going to ride. You're going to ride fast. That's just part of the game. We end up with tickets here and there. <laughs> Those are all our friends. You know what? Let me call while I see where the guys are. Good idea. Well, I guess it's only going to work if they're stopped. Hey. Where is it? Wait, where are you guys? We, we, we had to pull over and get some gas. Uh, I think Taylor actually coasted in. Where, where are you at right now? Moody got us pulled over by the cops, but we'll explain that to you when you get here. Anyway, we're at the north off-ramp to Montezuma's Castle. We're not too far away, and we'll meet you up there. Oh, uh, well, we're trying to find the sign or whatever. What, uh, we're we going to, we go back down this way. Where are we going? Just get out of my way. It wasn't my fault this morning, anything with that. Don't blame me, for, <coughs> don't get upset about the ticket, dude. I had nothing to do with it. Why? Well, I'm not blaming you, but every time I'm hanging out with you, I end up getting a fucking Here's speeding on. ticket. Tickets. I thought at least he'd get arrested. No, he just wrote us tickets and let us go. And then he says, I'm carrying a gun. So the cop takes his gun, pulls it out, opens it up. He says, there's no bullets in this gun. Flashing my lights and trying to get you to slow down for the last 10 miles. It doesn't bother me. Nothing's worse for me. If it's worse for you. That's your problem. It doesn't bother me a bit. I don't feel bad. Yeah, no, you know, because you make, you make yourself feel better by fucking with others. I'm not fucking with anybody. I'm telling you, I told you to slow down. Well, I don't have to shut the fuck up. 
Brian's citation for the speed. I wrote it civilly instead of criminal. The address for the court is here. You've got till the 19th of next month to take care of it. Need your signature right there on the X, please. Yeah, no what do you think I'll do? Write one ticket, and then that's it. Yeah. They just do it for the front guy. Yep. Why? Because he had the whole group following him. How fast are you going? 66 in a 45 zone. Brian, here's your copy. <laughs> I wouldn't let it just handcuff him. Hey, oh, you want to be cuffed? Yeah, can I tase him? Should, should we cuff oh. him? <laughs> Look at the bright side, Brian. It's better you than me. Yeah. yeah sure. you you, I, can, I was going to warn you, but I didn't want to do 100 miles an hour to come up and catch you. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what county we're in. Yeah. It's a DPS, so I don't think oh, it matters. Yeah. I'm going to get it transferred. Thanks for taking it. <laughs> it's two tickets in one day. These ice cream men need to learn how to slow down, I'd say. Brian and John always wanted to be up front. It's easier to ride up front. So they set the course for things. So it's kind of like they got the ticket, they earned the ticket. The ride continued to Arizona Bike Week and a live concert by Bad Company. Bad to the bone. Then the guys hooked up with actor Gary Busey and invited him to join the ride. I'm throwing my final back away. The phone's going to the garbage. I'm with you. Guest riders Brian Bosworth and Gary Busey arrived to join the great ride. I want to ride just right in front of me. You know why he's saying that to me? Because if you. I go down, he'll get to roll over. <laughs> <laughs> Will they all survive the journey? Find out on this edition of American MC. No, if you're not on automatic pilot, you ain't been riding long enough anyway. And if you're in that zone, your heart's beating like this, you're focused on the road, your right arm's turning this way, your left arm's turning this way. If you're sliding one way or the other, you dip a shoulder to keep your bike just that much from going off the side of the road or bumping into your brother. That's what makes you rock. Somebody ran a red light. I think that's what happened. I'm not certain, but I'm gonna be smart and I'm staying over here. I don't need another ticket. Okay, what are all these what are all these cameras doing here? Pretty brave female cops pulling over people bikers. Sir, if you can get back with that, please. Drive. Stand back. Looks like uh, I don't know if we ran a red light or what, and uh, they just pulled us over and can't need another unit. What's your problem here? I don't know. I guess we turn and then next thing I know. There's like a million cops. I mean, look, it's the smallest town in the whole state. Who's yeah, in charge of this? Get back. Get back. This is what's wrong. Sir, if you can please keep your hands where I can see you. Those people just don't want us going through there. They don't want a bunch of bikes going through this. The only reason why they're complaining. Well, yeah, that's that's the that's the first reason. We had it set up, though. You know, and I think Gary gave, gave her a little fucking love, you know, and she didn't like it, and she's, you know, mama cop with a badge and shit, so. This is so fucking stupid. Take charge or responsibility. What's the matter? Keep your hands where I can see them. All right. Paul, if you can take a step back from me, I'd appreciate it, all right? I don't like being crowded like this. All right. What, what is back. going on here? Now, what I have is about 16 citizen complaints, and I have one off duty uh, officer who's already called and said that there was some reckless driving up over Mingus Mountain. Did we ask what that was? Yeah, you were passing, uh, passing vehicles, Not riding more than two in a lane. Passing on the left. We were tandem all the way through the canyon, so. Stand back from me, please. I'm not sure. Right, Never passed anybody. Sir, sir, fill them in. Sir, come here. Hi. He's got the knife and a gun on him. My name's Gary Busey. All right. Keep your hands out your pockets. This is Brian Bosworth, my friend from all you. Okay. Do you have some ID on you? What? Do you have some ID on you? No, it's in my shed case. The truck going to grab it. We're making a film. It's your donkey job. The people that called it in will sign the complaint. Gary, George, Adam, Robert, Robert, 
Put my hands down. Back over here. Guys, cameras. Get out over here. Go ahead between us, okay? I'm gonna find the complaint. I don't know what the complaint is. I don't understand. Are you serious? That's just the way he looks. Well, she, we're clearly dri like driving as a group. Like, why would they? Oh no, this is not. Oh uh, no. This is not. I wonder, for you, <laughs> I wonder if you. use Do you know who I am? Yeah, that'll get you in trouble every time. No, this is this is the way it always. You get a group of bikers, and then you know somebody doesn't like the noise, and then the next thing you know, somebody's fucking calling in a complaint. I, I don't think we were driving reckless. No, we were actually they're very, they're under, very much under control. What were they saying? I mean, they got me finding a gun and all that. They should. Sure. You got a fucking gun. Okay, okay man. You got I mean, a shit. <laughs> What's going on with Gary? What did they say to him? Gary, did he give him some shit or Gary, what? Well, Gary had gave you know gave her a little attitude about you know um, freedom. Any uh, court action going on? No, ma'am. Okay. Well, sir, what I'm going to need you to do is turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. All right. Okay. California. Yes, my Whoa, where the fuck are they? Uh, the why, are, why are they handcuffing him? Uh, 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 what, what's the wait, charge? Wait, what's the charge? What'd he do? Won't deal with it. He's got warrants. You got a fucking warrant, Gary? I don't have warrants. This is harassment now. You all right here? No, I'm not. Why do you guys gotta take him away? What? 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 What's the charge? Worked out of California. Yeah, we're gonna see if they're extraditable, and if they are, then he's going with us. So everybody else is cool, officer. All y'all can get out of here, bro. I care. That's fucking bullshit. Is this the end of the road for Gary Busey? Relax. Next time on American MC. See where a man lives is what he does when he leaves the house. See who has the passion, the dedication, the endurance to become a true motorcycle club, a real MC. Absolutely. I would like to see this group of guys become an MC. It's fast. It's dangerous. We're at a spot for the emergency vehicle in there. It's life and death in the fast lane. Don't move, Mike. Don't move. Nothing we can't fix. Witness the real taste of the road. We start going. Get the fuck out of here. Are you sad? Get fuck back go. Go. Loyalties and friendships put to the test. If I don't feel like riding 85 miles an hour, I'm not gonna. Well, then you're breaking down the group dynamics, so you shouldn't be with this group. It's your choice. If you want to go over and he's forcing you to go over, you're a victim. Some will stay, and some will go. It's reality. Plus, witness what happens when they meet up with the most notorious club in the world. The shocking discovery of the unwritten rules of the road. Uh, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh, hey, Tommy, Tommy, I don't want to get our asses kicked here. Cracking the code of honor, brotherhood, and respect. Don't be so tight. You'll be all right. No, that'd be, no, that'd be too big. It's sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. Along the way, symbols are revealed. An unspoken language. Some say they represent sacrifice, rebellion, life, and death. Discover the importance of their colors, their patch. I'm choosing the patch over these guys and over the friendship. Bottom line, absolutely. The stakes are high, the danger is real.